Alright, that's who this world ignorantly and incorrectly calls God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. And there's double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that rule very well and teach very well and oversee the tabernacle of David. I'd like to give a quick shout out to the head of the men of Israel camp, the Ak Kazak, whom we teach under here in Greenville, South Carolina. And uh, finally, I'd like to give a quick shout out to you sincere Akim and Akwa. That's Hebrew for you brothers and sisters who are diligently and sincerely working out your faith in these last days with fear and trembling towards your salvation. See, I would like to say Shalom. shalom. It's the Ak Alaya. All right, it's the Ak Daba. And uh, we're just coming back to you uh, through the spirit and power of your how about Shem uh, with a quick exhortation, as you can see by the title, the name of the video being what's understood doesn't need to be explained. And um, through the spirit of the Lord had gave me that title earlier while me and the brother were at work. And uh, cause you know, Jake's like to, to use that, that saying or that quote, as far as, you know, them not having to put any work in as far as teaching or exhorting or explaining anything, you know, they say, you know, what's understood don't need to be explained, you know, nigga, either you get it or you don't, right? And now uh, a lot of us, <laughs> we, we tend to get in that spirit sometimes, you know, in this ministry because a lot of the points that we make is it's repetitive. It seems like certain things we shouldn't have to say two, three, four, five, six times, man, you know? And like like I said, a lot, a lot of brothers who have been in this truth even years upon years, you know, you can get kind of, uh, not stressed or overwhelmed, but, you know, get tired, should I say, of repeating yourself, man. But contrary to that saying, what's understood doesn't need to be explained. We understand, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai that we, we are commanded to continue to preach daily this gospel, man. You know, and, and without too much else to say, uh, I want to start off in the book of Matthew, chapter 22 and verse 2. This is the Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, and he's giving a parable about the kingdom of heaven, right? This is Matthew 22 and two. It says, <clears throat> so like, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son, you know? And before we continue on, you know, I'll try to break it down as we go along. If you have anything, you know, no, to I'm add as we go yeah. along. Huh. Uh, that certain king referring to the heavenly father, Yahweh, man, you know, cause we understand that the, the most high, he's in control of, of the show, man. He's in control of reality. You know, in control of the timeline. We understand that the Lord Yahweh has given everything uh, under subjection and under the feet of the Lord Yahweh Shai, his son, right? Which is who we're talking about. It says, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding and they would not come, right? If this is referring to the ministry, man. You know, understanding that... Uh, from the days of old, the prophets, you know, have, have prophesied about the coming of the son of the king, man, you know, and how we are to obey the son, uh, you know, because that was the king's orders. And, and with, with that ministry, with that gospel coming out, you, you got a lot of our own people, which is the contents of the scripture, who, who refuse the uh, instructions that have been given, man. You know, a lot of people think, you know, that, that are off, they be like, you know, this is y'all only. Uh, y'all worshiping idols by worshiping Yahweh Shai, this, that, and the third, man. You know, like I said, they're refusing the instructions that have been given from Yahweh himself that we are to acknowledge his son, Yahweh Shai, a a as our Lord, man. You know, and through Yahweh Shai, are we back able to, to serve the Heavenly Father? You know, a lot of, like I said, a lot of Jakes are in that spirit even to this very day. The spirit of Matthew uh, 22 and 3. As it says, they would not come. The whole gospel, the whole good news was only for the nation of Israel. That's right. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and, and Native American Indians, man. So-called. You guys are the Israelites, according to the Bible. And, and we're, we're calling you guys to repentance, man. You know, to, to confess your sins and your iniquities. And in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And, and, you know, and through that name, you, you shall be forgiven and, and delivered even, you know. But uh, continuing on, it says, uh, Matthew 22 and verse 4, it says, Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready, come unto the marriage, you know? And, and what's that, that that sacrifice being likened unto? You know, all things are ready? We, we, we are out here... Once again, reassuring and confirming the, the prophecies that 
you know, the Lord Yahweh Shai would be offered up and be killed, man, and, and even be resurrected so that he could come and redeem us and to save us, man. You know, all things are ready. The only thing the Lord is waiting for is his servants to, to continue preaching this word so it falls on the ears of the elect and they can hear. But not it's not even just that, too, because as we're reading, you're going to have this word fall on deaf ears, man. You know, you're going to have Israelites that refuse to hear. The, yeah, to <laughs> refuse to hear, refuse to obey, and refuse to repent, man. They, they cast this gospel behind them as if it's not good enough. You know, we had a Jake uh, at, at the job earlier today, and I wanted, the Spirit had me wanting to bring out certain precepts, but I'm like, you know, it's not the time. We had a Jake at the job say, anything free, man, I'm all for it. And in my head, I'm thinking like, oh, I wonder if you're going to keep that same energy when it comes to Yahweh Shai, you know? Because, right. you know, according to the scriptures, Yahweh Shai did it all, man, you know? Yahweh Shai paid that time we couldn't pay, you know? So, and, and that free, even according to the scriptures, Right. You know, yeah. and like I said, right when I heard Jay say that, I'm thinking like, man, I, I want to bring out the scriptures so, and I wanted to tell you that too. So like, not to cut the uh, conversation off, but I want to tell you that too. Out of everybody at the plantation, I think that Jake might be the only one to actually hear the scriptures. Yeah, the scriptures. yeah actually, yeah. you know, I thought about that too. I want to tell you that, but I uh, thought about it myself. Yeah, right? yeah. At the end of the at the end of the day, uh, I could kind of I was looking at his testing his not testing the spirit, but just but, seeing yeah. the dicks, uh, uh, uh Examining his spirit. Yeah, big kind. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. And this is the spirit that the Lord said his servants would be in. Out here being fishers of men, you know. Yeah. Out here throwing out bits and pieces. And, you know, we say, you know, comments to Jace, just to, like the brother said, just to test his spirit and things of that nature. And that lets us know, all right, you know, this might be a soul the Lord wants to get it, you know. And are we here for a reason, you know. So with us being there, it's our job to, once again, going into this lesson and exhortation, it's our job to bring out the word and preach this gospel, man. You know? But right. back to the scripture, as it says in Matthew 22, and I'll read verse 4 again. It says, Again he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. And that marriage being when the Lord Yahweh Shah returns. God. You know? Matter of fact, let me get. A, I gotta get a precept for that, you know, because you can't just go off our own words. Of uh, the marriage, like I said, referring to Yahweh Shai coming and receiving up his elect. Let me grab this real quick. Bear with me one second, y'all. Bubba Kasha. All right. So, this is. Mm, let me see if I can start up a little bit more. Okay, so I can see. All right, so <laughs> that's beautiful. It did not bring me to another parable, which is the spirit, because the Lord Yahweh Shai, he, he continued to repeat the same message in different parables. But I'm just going to grab this point real quick Matthew 25 and 31. It says, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats and he shall set the sheep on his right hand but the goats on the left then shall the king say unto them on his right hand come ye blessed of my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world right and that's that marriage that the Lord is getting his servants prepared for, you know? We're in a time period where we are to rehearse the righteous acts and preparing ourselves to be transferred from this period of grace into the new covenant, man, you know? And, and we're in the new covenant where we'll be able to, as the scripture said, inherit the kingdom prepared for us from the foundation of the world, you know? Wherein dwelleth righteousness, you know? Pursuant to the book of Revelation, a place where it's a, a new heaven and a new earth, right? That's this the kingdom of heaven. Like we read in Matthew 22 and 2, this is the context of the parable, the kingdom of heaven, right? So let's, let's coming back to Matthew 22 and verse 5, it says, But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. Right. And, and that goes into what? Even today, how when we we out here preaching this gospel, exhorting the scriptures, you know, when we tell a brother to repent, all he can think about is the million and one reasons why he can't repent or why repentance doesn't matter. You know, he's thinking about, well, I can't shave. I can't uh, keep my beard because at my job is saying I got to shave my beard. You know, Jake, you want the scripture say a man 
Roughly paraphrasing, well, find an excuse according to his folly. Or, or according to his own will. Yeah, that even too. That's right. That's uh, <laughs> that's uh, uh, wisdom of Solomon. Big con. Man. No, no, no. That's that, um, Bible Kishan too. That's uh, that's book Sirach. Cause that's that's the spirit of Jake. As we read it right now, the Lord Yahweh Shai saying, speaking all these things in a parable. What we're still seeing right now and today. You know, we we tell a brother, be careful with certain women that you, that you deal with because. You might get caught up on that woman and then cast the, the ministry of the Lord, Yahweh Shemuel Shah, behind you. You know, our brothers, I can't make it to the plow because my girl want to go, uh, go on a vacation to yep. the beach, to Florida. You want to read it? Bible Khan, this is the book of Sirach, uh, also known as the book of Ecclesiasticus uh, in the Apocrypha, uh, verse, uh, chapter 32, verse 17. It's, um, a sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. That's right, man. Kind of, uh, just just exactly what the brother was saying, man. How, like he said, when niggas are, uh, when he used the excuse of, nah, I can't do this, man. My girl want to boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? You know, finding excuses not to do what really he needs to do, or or um, or, or do uh, find excuses to do what he wants to do, but mm -hmm. won't do what he needs to do. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Yep. And that's exactly what that's is that exactly what niggas do out here, man. Niggas want to find excuses of why they can't. Uh, get bitted unto the marriage, man. Yeah, they want to <laughs> find excuses for that. Yeah. Um, but you just want to say something? <laughs> no. Uh, as I said, but they made uh, Matthew twenty-two and five. But they made light of it, right? They made light of this gospel. You know, we tell them that the Lord Yahweh Shah is coming is, is right at your doorstep, and they make light of that. Oh, I got time, or I don't. I don't believe that, or I'm not trying to hear that. You right. know, they they make light of the gospel, man, which. The gospel is not only just a very real thing, it, it's a very terrifying thing, man. Even to the men of the Lord. We know we 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 feared the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, because we know of his many wonderful works, man. We know how he destroyed previous kingdoms miraculously, you know. Kingdoms, pe people and heathen, all they can remember is that, yeah, we seen fire come down, man. And the Israelites said their God did it. You know, and they over here rejoicing and praising him. You know, this that's what the heathen think about and remember when they think about the heavenly father, you know, Allah Shadja. This is a, a terrible, a terrible, terrifying power. Oh, demon terrible like, demon like power. Terrible right? demon like power. Allah Shadja, man. Allah Shadja. So this this is not a, it's like I said, it's it's not just a very real thing. Man, this should light a fire behind your ass, man. You know, but what what is the spirit of niggas, man? And everybody else that follows behind them. It says, but they made light of it. It doesn't matter, right? And it says, and went their ways. Went to his farm, right? I got work to do, you know? Right. I, he ain't, yeah, how I ain't gonna pay my bills. I gotta pay my bills, you know? That's niggas, right? It says, another to his merchandise, right? I gotta make this money, you know? I gotta sell this, you know? <laughs> That's Jake, man. It says, Matthew 22 and 6. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. And we're going to see this happen once again. Me and the brother just made a video about, oh, and the brother and I too, about how, you know, the men of the Lord, some of them are going to be martyrs in these times. This is the same thing we're reading. A lot of y'all, when you hear this gospel, it's going to prick you to your heart so, so much to the degree where you're going to want to slay some of the men of the Lord, man. You're going to want to betray them like Judas and have them offered up, man. I, I was just about to say that. Yeah. 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 Nah, you hit it like a gunner, man. That's literally <laughs> just tagging yeah, that's, what, that's fair, uh, what we spoke about in the previous video, you know, with the um us two and the brother um Anah, man. That's right. How uh you gonna have your family, you're gonna have your friends, y'all just gonna be so butthurt, you know, that we um that we didn't that we left what, what our families believe and, and left what they know their uh 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 their routine just for lack of words uh forgetting the word i was trying to use but their routine that they're used to doing stuff because we left that they so butthurt over that they really gonna be like oh you know if esau come out and be like hey if y'all know such, such 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 people that do this 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 bring them here and we'll give you a reward they'll be the ones to do that man mm -hmm. yeah happily and kind yep. and don't and won't think twice about it that's right they like, oh yeah, well, well, we know they stay over here in these apartments. I know they're right there. You sure I'm gonna get how much? Yeah. Well, it's two of them in there, so I'm gonna get yeah. double, right? Uh huh. It's two of them right over there. That's get my fact. money. That's 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 a fact, man. That's the the evil spirit of hatred that the Lord has has put upon his his own people, man. You know? But all to the point of you know showing that his words are true, proving how wicked 
and you know how vile and disgusting his people has sunk to in the earth what level they sunk to in the earth man yeah. it, the scripture said matthew 22 and 6 and the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them oh y'all just some niggas y'all know what y'all talking about you know why you uh uh, y'all rebelling against the white man, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Of <laughs> Man, that's the spirit of Jake, man. Against his own people. But it says, Matthew 22 and 7, But when the king heard thereof, the heavenly father, Abba Yahweh, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. And this is going into the judgments that are going to be coming out because y'all have uh, not only refused the gospel, but y'all have also put your hands on on, on the apple of the Lord's eyes, man, which are his people, the chosen of his people, man. Y'all y'all have put your hands on them. And the Lord, as I say, he's on, He's already wrought. The scriptures say the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. Of course, you know, that's talking about Esau and Edom. But of course, you know, it applies to his own people as well. You know, it says in um, Matthew 22 and 8. Actually, I want to say something about verse 7 as well. Matthew 22 and 7. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth. Right, Roth going into angry, displeased, right? It says, and he sent forth his armies, referring to, you know, the angels, uh, chiefly even starting with, uh, well, Yahweh himself, and then below him, Michael, the archangel. You know, uh -huh. he ain't nothing to play with, man. The, the commanding general over all the armies of the angels. Come on, man. And then the actual armies coming. Yeah, the, yeah, Lord, is not, the Lord is not playing with y'all. It says, and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. What city is this referring to, man? Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. This is all a part of the gospel, you know? Mm. But we tell y'all America about to be destroyed. And what do you niggas do? I'm not trying to hear that. I got these new J's I'm about to try to cop real quick. Right. Well, I ain't trying to hear that. I, I got to go new... see Lil Baby perform before the shit blow up. What you oh, got? Oh, I ain't trying to hear that. I got this new Wody that I'm about to go knock down exactly. real quick. You exactly. know what I mean? Exactly. That's niggas, man. That's yep. niggas for you, man. Niggas don't want to do nothing. Um, Niggas don't want to do nothing. That'll get them out, man. Mm -hmm. Niggas want to be niggas. Niggas is in stock, uh, 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 Stockholm syndrome, man. Yep. That's what. That's what Nick. Uh, you niggas are so tied up in, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to do something for the now. Y'all rather be like, well, I can't wait for that, man. That's too. We don't know when it's gonna happen. Right. We don't know when that's gonna happen. So in the meantime, well, let me, like you said, let me go to this little baby concert, or or let me go knock down this Wody real quick, mm -hmm. or, or let's or let take go, this cruise. Let, let, let's <laughs> take this cruise, or, or, or let's go to uh, um, uh, uh, um, Guatemala or yeah. uh, Puerto Rico, yeah. or you know, what I'm saying, let me do this in the meantime, and then yeah. I'll get back to it. Because once again, we don't know when we don't right. know when he gonna come. And, and Jake not getting back to it, man. Jake no, he ain't man. getting back to it. Why? Because not, man. it's actually gonna cause Jake to change, man. Exactly. And, and that's what the scriptures say about y'all. Y'all have a reprobate mind. That's right. A mind that has been rejected by Yahweh by Shem Shah. He's not dealing with y'all. Yes. The words are out here to be spoken so you can hear them, but your heart is so set on evil and wickedness. The Lord, he, he has you stuck there, man. God. Stuck in your ways, man. Right? But it says. Uh, you, uh, real quick. Yeah, so go ahead. Y'all might just ask if you had something else. No, nah, you can't forget this one. Oh, or let me go back and get this line up real quick, man. All right. I, I, I'm, I'm trying <laughs> yeah. to go out this weekend. I got to look go, clean. Let me, let me go get this line up real quick. Let me shave my beard. Let me get yeah. a little. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's niggas. Niggas, man. man. Cast all the, the righteous works behind it, man. Right. But to do wickedness, what, wait, what does the scripture say? They are wise to do evil, do, do evil but yo. to do good, they have no knowledge, it man. Can. <laughs> what did we just see on oh, Instagram? You show me you see, a nigga went all the way to what, Brazil or Mexico to no, get a. No, no, no. Bro, this nigga went all the way to <laughs> Turkey. To Turkey. To, to get a fucking beard implant. A beard implant. Bro, what? Jay, no. Even the Jake, now he got Lord. a whole bunch of dots all over yeah. his face. Talking right about now. when it grow when in, it grow in, I'm oh, a little good. Yeah. Jake, what? Jake, come even, on. Even bro. the man of the Lord who desire beers, we're not doing that shit, man. Bro, if he the Lord... literally went to Turkey. <laughs> yeah, man. He literally went to Turkey to get a beard implant. Bro, he's retarded. This is what niggas prefer over the gospel. Right. No, 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 no. I ain't trying to do the word of the Lord. Let me go to Turkey real quick so I can get this beard put on my face. Yeah. This yeah. folly, man. And you busy Zion, y'all not excluded either. Y'all out here still getting BBLs. And it, it doesn't came on the news. A, a lady went to go get a BBL, and now she missing a kidney. Oh, damn. Kidney gone. <laughs> damn. The Lord ain't, hey, man, you can't make none of this up. But all this is going back to what? Because you refused the gospel, man. Uh -huh. This is what this all is going back to. You got a preacher? Kind of, I got a preacher that we were just kind of. talking about. Jeremiah 4.22, it says, For my people is foolish. Mm -hmm. Like you said, 
no, we, we y'all get the point. For my people is foolish. They have they have not known me. They have sodish children. They are sodish children. They are slacking. They are sodish children. All my fault. Uh, slacking. They are sodish children, and they have no understanding. Mm -hmm. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And that's exactly right, man. Mm -hmm. Like you just said about, you know, Zion, who just wanted to go get a, a, a BBL. Now she missing the kidney. You know, you supposed to be doing that to your body, that's first and fact. foremost. You know, you supposed to be doing that. Now what? Jake, who just went to Turkey to get this fucking beard implant, why his face gonna right. be dead. Yeah, his chin gonna fucking fall off or something, man. Right. It ain't no time we're looking He's at done. Yeah. He's not even gonna be able to fucking... Um, do what he need to Yeah, I don't, I don't tell him what's about to happen to Jake. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> you know? But that's you niggas, man. Huh? You niggas is wise, wise to do evil, man, but to yeah. do good, yeah, no, to do no. to do this work, uh, uh to be a true man, uh to be a true man and stand up and be a man of the Lord, man, y'all don't wanna do that, man. That's right. Y'all don't wanna do that. Y'all wanna be some little whole ass niggas, man, who wanna go do the dumb shit. Yep. And get on through for the now. Yep. Man. Look like you got it all together. Meanwhile, <laughs> your inside, your spirit, man, crying out, man. Meanwhile, it deep down your spirit begging for mercy. And out on the outside, you showing off like you just got it all together. You know. Right. You the nigga, right? But like that word said, that word sodish, the definition of the word sodish means stupid. Kind of. The Lord called his own people stupid, man. The Lord is the one that put that stupid spirit on oh, you. And so we know for a fact niggas is dumb as hell out here, man. We know for a fact. You know, without social media, according to the scriptures, the Lord put us on game, man. Right? But uh, coming back to the... Or you had another preset? No, no, you go okay. ahead, bro. Coming back uh, to the verse, this is Matthew 22. And I'll pick back up at verse 28. It says, Then saith he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Mm. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. Right, and this is the the Lord Yahweh Shai speaking parabolically in a, a in a metaphor or a storytelling form, basically saying that when this gospel went out, even when he was alive, you had a majority of the Israelites who did not want to get down with the truth, man. You know, and and I, I would even say in that time it was 50-50 too because the scriptures do say there was great multitudes that believed on him while he was there. But afterwards, what do you even see? That that great multitude is dwindling down to a remnant, man, according Come. to the spirit of prophecy, man. We, we know that. And the Lord is sealing up even according to Matthew 22 and 9. He says, go ye therefore into the highways and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. The Lord got us at, to the point where, look, the Lord is saying, just go out there and just teach my word. And all those who are worthy, they're going to be bidding. All those who can receive it through the Spirit, they're going to receive it. Meanwhile, as it, as it said in the verse before that, they which were bidden were not worthy. Well, pursuant to scriptures like Romans, what, what is that? Romans 7 or Romans 9 where it says, Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the elect. Uh, I think it's Romans had 7. Obtained it. Let me can you see. get that Bible show? Let me see. I'll go see if I can find I, it. I know it's Romans for a fact. I know it's Romans. Um, Because I brought it out the other day. Let me see. Uh, 11 and 7. That's what 11 I'm Yeah, yeah, 11 and 7. So I like it. You got it, you want me to get it? Uh, what then? Israel have not obtained. Yep. 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 All right, this is the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 7. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which, she, uh, blah, 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 that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, mm -hmm. meaning the elect, yeah. right, have obtained it, um, and the rest were blinded, right? Mm -hmm. Like it just said. I'm going to read it back one more time, and I'm going to bring it out. Uh, well, I'm going to bring it out as I go. Um, Romans 11 and 7. Uh, back at the top, it says, What then? Israel have not obtained um, that which he seeketh for. Right. So that shows you straight off the rip uh, that the Lord is only talking to Israel, first and foremost. First and foremost. Let me get that, make that clear. It's possible. The Lord is only talking to Israel in this point. That's why it specifically says Israel, right? Because y'all niggas like to say, Never mind. But y'all get what I'm saying, right? Continuing on, but they, they have not obtained what they are seeking for, right? But the election have obtained it. The election is being the elect, man. 
the elect, the brothers who are out here truly seeking a day in and day out and making a call in an election sure to be a part of um to be that be a part of that number who make it you know either being a uh, 144,000 elect men you know which is ultimately the army you know then you have the great multitude you know but those are the brothers who's trying to make it right that's that election right and then it says, and the rest were blinded. The arrests are you niggas who, like I was talking about earlier, who want the now. Who want the, well, let me get this now. Who, this, 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 this now. That's y'all who are blinded. Y'all not able to, uh, y'all y'all do not have, y'all are not blessed to have this wisdom, knowledge, understanding truly from our heavenly father, you know, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. Y'all weren't blessed with that. So, so uh, y'all were blinded to it. The ones to give you an example of who was blinded, the motherfuckers who still in Christian, the motherfuckers who's in all these other religions, the motherfuckers who uh, uh, pray to all these other false gods. That's y'all who are blinded. Speaking about Israel, though, that's, I made it clear in the beginning. I want to make it clear now. I'm talking to Israel right now. So everyone, uh, so-called so Negro, so-called Latino, or so-called Native Indian. Y'all have went and uh, wandered out to other philosophies given through by uh, uh, Esau. Y'all are the ones who are blinded. That's why y'all where y'all at now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You go ahead, brother. And, yeah, that, that you wrote that beautifully. Well spoken. As as you said, man, Israel have not obtained that which he sought for. And truly, as a whole, the Israelites seek for their own kingdom. They they want rulership. Truly. At the heart of their hearts, that's what they desire. But the Lord set it up to where two thirds of His own people just can't get it on this side. Y'all have to be put through that fire and be destroyed first, man. And then on the next side, the Lord can raise y'all up through the seed of the elect, as the election, even as it says in Romans eleven and seven, through their seed. Guess what? Then you will be able to perform the righteous acts as we were commanded to, right? But as it says, I'm gonna read two, uh, Matthew twenty two and nine again, and I'm gonna get this preset. Yeah. Matthew 22 and 9 says, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. That's what we are here doing now, man. Even right now in the car, man. We, this video is going to be shared abroad, online, open for millions of people to view whenever they feel like it, whenever they want to. But guess how many are actually going to do it, man? <laughs> Only the elect are going to watch and be edified, man. Huh. E even when the um, elder and apostles... And the elder bishops and the elder teachers, this, that, and the third, are out on the highways and the streets prophesying day in and out. Guess what? How many Jakes do you actually see come and stop and listen and be edified and repent? Not as many as you see driving and walking by. Never as many, man. And that leads me to this next precept I want to grab. This is Ezekiel chapter 33. And I'm going to start at verse 31. It says, And they shall, so like, and they come unto thee as the people cometh. And they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they would not do them. For with their mouth they shew much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. And this really hits on a, a, a majority of the jakes that so-called come into this truth and fall out, man. You know, truly. Because you got, as the scripture said, no, they'll come before you as my people. They'll be like, oh, dang, I believe you. I'm an Israelite. And but you don't see them doing nothing for the ministry, but you see them putting fringes on their car and fringes on their dog. Yeah, that shit. That's that. Oh boy. This you is gotta me. show that picture. Hold on, I'm gonna show. Yeah, it. yeah. You, you gotta show that's that. That's the picture. the spirit that this is talking about. Niggas knowing that oh we're kings and our 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 women are princesses. Ah, we 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 are heavenly people. Ah, you know we gonna rule over the white people and put them in slavery. Ah, brother, black power. You know shit like that. You got niggas who hear the gospel. And, and all they hear about is, like I said, how, how they're a king or how, you know, they're going to get to put somebody in slavery. And that that's not even enough for them to actually be diligent in the truth. You know, and this next scripture is going to say that, but you can show no, that. I'm going to show them this. I got because they're going to think you're lying. Uh, I mean, if yeah, they're not you subscribed know? to this, uh, this is GMS um, South Carolina. Kind oh, wait. Y'all can go subscribe to it. Yeah, that's Elder Manatee's up, but. Kind. Nah, Jay, that's not Elder Manatee. Yeah, GMS South Carolina, yeah. I watched. Oh wait, <laughs> yeah. They, oh okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Sure? I thought I thought he was Jim. He, he got multiple pages because they take him down. Oh, I must not. Oh yeah, kinda, yeah. I must not have this one there. Kind of yeah, that's nice. Oh damn, I, I am subscribed. Okay. All right, but this is I'm gonna just show y'all the first part of the video. Uh, like I said, GMS South Carolina, Edelman Zuckbach. 
Look. Uh, and fringes. They, fringes on everything, even the side view mirrors, and they got scriptures written on the doors yeah, and the hood. And, stupid. Man. First of all, that's not even wise in these yeah, times. Definitely not. It's man. not even wise. Fast forward to the dog, because <laughs> the dog is on there too, man. I yeah, said, what the is. fuck? Like and like the elder brought out beautifully in that exhortation. He said, man, the inanimate objects can't keep no commandments. The car can't keep no command, and the dog wasn't giving no sure commandments, can't. man. The commandments on the dog. The man. commandments was given to Israel, and they don't even want to do it. You know, so what makes you think a dog and a car is going to be able to keep the commandments, man? Yeah. It's foolishness, man. Yeah. <laughs> man, yeah. But like, like the scripture said, man, they'll come before you as my people and they hear thy words, right? They hear America going to be destroyed. They hear the so-called white man, woman, and child got to go into slavery and be repaid back for all the injustice, injustice that they've done and wickedness that they've done on the earth. They hear about all those things, but it says what? But they will not do them. Right, rehearse the righteous acts, repent, pray, fast, you know, cry out to Abba Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and beg for mercy and deliverance. Right, they hear it says, but they will not do them for with their mouth they shew much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. Like the Lord Yahweh Shai brought out in the parable, they worried about their farm and about their merchandise. God. They worried about, no, the Lord Yahweh Shai can't destroy America. I just bought this 20 million dollar house, or, I, just, I just got this new Lambo, or. No, the Lord can't come back and destroy America yet. I just bought ten thousand dollars worth of furniture out of fucking furniture stuff. All right, oh, cut. <laughs> yeah, you sorry. Yes, yeah, so like and that, like the brother. Yeah, because the brother. The reason the brother just said that is because at the job, man, Jake really spent over ten thousand dollars on furniture, man. You know, and I'm thinking, me and me and the op talking like, man, what the hell is Jake doing, spending all that money on furniture that we say is gonna burn up anyway, man? You know, but like I said, a spiritual, or not like I said, but like I'm saying, a spiritual mind can't receive these things on this side. The Lord has got y'all going after covetousness, you know, worrying about the things of this world, pleasing your flesh. These are all the things that the Lord has you two thirds going after, and he's, the Lord is gonna trip y'all up and destroy y'all because of it, man. So like, kind of, I was going to the next scripture. It says Ezekiel yeah. 33 and 32. It says, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song. Of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. Like I said, they they are coming to us like they listening and it sound good. Oh yeah, what was that scripture? John three sixteen. How did you break it down? Oh brother, that sound beautiful, man. Man, fuck the Christianity church, man. Y'all right, brother. Brother Jackie, doing what y'all doing, and then we never see Jack again. Never. You know. And that's happening this, a lot. <laughs> this is the spirit of the scripture is talking about. It says, continue on to verse thirty two. For they hear thy words, but they do not. Uh, so like. For they hear thy words, but they do them not, man. You know, like I said, Jake is more ready and willing to do anything out here but righteousness. Which is why going back to the title of the video was understood. Don't need to be explained. Nah, Jake, if you understood this, you know, we, we wouldn't, wouldn't have to explain it. We wouldn't have but to. But why does the like Lord... Yeah, oh, I'm just about to say that. Why does the Lord have us out here repeating the same thing if y'all get it, man? Yeah. The Lord is not stupid, man. Hey, because... I know I I don't I don't I don't I don't been doing my works, man. I don't I don't been in truth for for a good while now, and I've been staying strong, and I've been you know I know the brother can say the same for himself, right? And I know as long as I've been in truth, and I'm already tired of telling y'all motherfuckers, but I know at a Tahar, at a, at a Gabar, at a Raka, at a uh, uh, um a, a Rumla, I know they tired. I know they tired of telling y'all ass. Shit, and I ain't been in here. They've been in thirty plus. I only been in a, a, a couple years. Co yeah, I'm almost. Yeah, I'm gonna just say a couple years. I'm almost about to be like four, or five. Yeah, it's been. And and so, like you said, if if y'all already understood it, we wouldn't have to be sound like a broken record. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Because y'all want to be fucking stupid, and then ultimately we're gonna do and be true men of the Lord. And no matter how long it takes, still stand out here and say the same thing over and over again. Yeah. We're going to do it. Yeah, how Lord, 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 yeah, Lord, Lord, Lord. Yeah, how are, man. Because cause, cause like you're going into, if we get tired, you know, being in this flesh, repeating this truth, we already know that the Lord is tired of looking down here and watching this go on, man. You know? It's yeah. only for the Lord's word's sake 
uh, of why he hasn't come down and already just fucked everybody up, man. God. It's only because of his word's sake, man, because he promised the deliverance for the elect, man, you know? But whole point being is that we still out here exhorting the same gospel that's been preached over 2,000 years ago by the lawyer, Howard Shai himself, and niggas still can't get it, you know? But long story short, in, in a, a roundabout way through the spirit of how about Shemel Shai, we're showing you how even to the end, man, when the last prophet prophesied before the Lord sends out the famine of the word, that is still, all that time, it's just going to be used as a testimony against you for your unbelief, for your disbelief, for your hatred against your how about y'all shot. Mm. It's just going to be a testimony to show you my truth was out here. I went out early and, 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 I, and I cried out to you and you hearken not, man. That's, that's what that's going to be. And then that day, and when the judgment comes, you can't be like, well, Lord, I didn't know. But if only I did, if only I knew. Nah, none of that can be said because why? The Lord has given y'all plenty of chances already, and he's still giving you chances. Now, the Lord, y'all is not here yet. No. You know? Destruction to Babylon, a.k.a. America, has not happened yet. The Lord still has his grace out here. But guess what? You niggas is not going to take advantage of it. Y'all worried about what's next, what next bitch you about to pull out your brother said, when that vacation you about to go on, you know, anything, man, over the gospel. You got something you about to say to him? No, I was just about to say that, uh, disobedience, man. Yeah, yeah. Because y'all not doing what y'all supposed to be doing, man. Yeah. We're not supposed you to be over here having too. fun, man. We're not. We're supposed to be over here doing uh, the will and the work of the Lord, man. Yeah. Scripture say that, uh, being disobedient to parents, because that applies to our spiritual uh, parents and it's truth man people who who have prophesied the gospel and have taught you the the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures that you've heard and you've received and then you go and reject what you have received that's what the scripture is going into when it said you know being disobedient to parents roughly paraphrasing you know that it applies to the, this gospel this ministry as well you uh -huh. know uh but i'm gonna go ahead and finish off this is ezekiel 33 and 33 it says, and when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. And as Ezekiel prophesied, look, we're talking about it right now. It has come to pass. We've been out here prophesying, and the elders and men above us been prophesying, exhorting the gospel, and you niggas still aren't being obedient, man. God. Still, in 2023, January what? The, the 13th. 13th. As, as of now, right? Okay. Still. Y'all still can't get it. According to Ezekiel 33, 33, he prophesied this. It says, And when this come to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been mm -hmm. among them. And, and this is a, a fact, man. Whether you believe we are those men or not, and whether our whether whether you believe our teachers and the men above uh, us are prophets or not, does not matter. All you're going to know for a fact that in that time when the Lord Yahweh is standing before you, you're going to know that what he says to you in that moment, you heard it before. Yeah. <laughs> and he's not lying. That, that's all that's going to be on replay in your head. You're going to be cut to the heart, man. As the scripture said, there should be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. You know, this is all going into y'all receiving the judgment for your disobedience, man. You know, and with that being said, I, I got one more final precept if you don't have anything else. No, nah, brother. No, nah, right. brother. Uh, this is Luke chapter 9. And verse 5, it says, And whosoever will not receive you, when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And that's mm. the spirit that the Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, spoke to his disciples, which became apostles, you know, in the same ministry that we have now been a part of, you know, putting our hand to the plow and working to the Lord Yahweh Shai returns. Guess what? The Lord Yahweh Shai said, look, when they don't listen, don't get all mad. You know, you can't do nothing about that. That's the judgment the Lord put on them. That's their lot. Our job is to teach the truth no matter who can hear or forbear. And then when the Lord comes, guess what? Their judgment is on them. The Lord says, shake the dust off your feet. Keep uh -huh. on moving. Don't worry about it. You know, and that's, like I said, that's the spirit that the men of the Lord are going to be in. And all this is, as it said in Luke 9 and 5, it's going to be a testimony against them. Man. Testimony against that's a fact, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. With that being said, you know, we hope this lesson exhortation was edifying to the sincere hope for the elect. You got anything else? I'm thinking because you kind of said it. So I if, kinda, if you got a precept, you, you can bring it up. We can rock. But if that's nah, it, that was, nah, that was a, that was a beautiful one to end, go ahead and end on. That was, that was a beautiful one to go ahead and end on, man. That was, yeah. All right, yeah. kind. So with that, we'll say... Call Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rechakwadash, Wa'ad Ba'ababah. 
Death to America. Shalom, 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 man. Keep the faith, man. Yahweh Shah is about to return. That's right. So keep the faith. Shalom. <laughs> shalom. Shalom. <laughs>